I think we need to appreciate what it is that we're driving in today. So cool. Bit of an early start this morning. We're up at 5 a.m. because today we're ticking off something we were told we have to do when you come to central Vietnam. We're going to a place called My Son, which is a um, it's a religious UNESCO heritage site. It's a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> and it's basically um, nestled in the mountains. It's these old uh, ruins, which yep. are like temples and towers. So apparently it's sort of like Vietnam's version of Angkor Wat with its own history and all sorts of stuff as well that we hopefully will learn. But we're up early to try and beat the crowds. So we're stoked today to be able to partner with Hoi An Jeep Adventures, who have got to be one of the coolest tour companies that yeah. we have seen around town. We've seen like their old school Jeeps and SUVs like cruising around the streets. Yeah, they so look awesome. They look sick. So we're not 100% sure what the itinerary is for the day. All we know is we're gonna head out now. It's just coming up to six o'clock and hopefully gonna meet our driver. Probably get this tour started though. I think we need to appreciate what it is that we're driving in today. So cool. Just driven about 15 minutes to our first stop with our uh, guide Tony. First stop is a really local market, so we're just checking out what some of the local kids eat before they go to school, see what the market's all about. Well, that was a cool surprise. We sat down at a local coffee shop and just had some coffee and got to properly experience it in the not so western environment. As much as we love driving the scooter everywhere ourselves, already we can see today's gonna to be epic just having somebody else sort of take us on a journey. So we're excited for what's next. So this is an original like machine gun cartridge. It would have had bullets inside of it. That's here, the Jeep, you know, my boss bought from Iraq around right. 1991. So it came over on a boat. Yeah. And then helicopter to lift it off. Yeah, lift it off and land it, you know, right in Da Nang City. Yeah, in Da Nang. Yeah, and when we bought it, right back to here. That's incredible. Wow. And, Original. And so they've got like 10, about 10 different Jeeps? Yes. Wow. For all the but different uh, tools. We have only one hammer. The yeah. original, yeah, the Iraq Jeep, you know. Wow, so cool. So just stop at a local place for some lunch. We're gonna have some mi guan, which is actually mi ga, because our one's got chicken, peanuts, and noodles. And Stace is gonna try and be like the locals here. You gotta crack it all up. <laughs> Not quite as talented as them. Beautiful. <laughs> so it shows how foreign we are to waking up early. I was just talking about, we've stopped for a spot of lunch and everything, and then Stace is like, what time is it? <laughs> this is breakfast. We're having noodles for breakfast. But it was absolutely delicious though. And I, I think I might get some of Stacey's leftovers as well. So I've been driving for about 20 minutes. We've just arrived at the Nissan grounds. 
Loud. jumped on our shuttle, <laughs> which is going to take us the two Ks actually up to the ruins. And then we're going to have a chat to Tony and try and figure out a little bit more about the history of this place. So from here, we are going to walk among the different complex. Okay. That is the more important one because the first temple, the highest one here, is worth 30 meters. But uh, the chapel, you see the bomb crater here, was found there around 1973. So we had no idea before coming here, but this whole area actually covers two uh, square kilometers. So it's actually, it's enormous as you would have just seen on the, um, the poster there. And actually it's named after this mountain, which is, I mean, we, we read it as my son, but that is me son. Misan Holy Land, yeah, and this is the Hindu temple was built by the Cham people yeah. to control in the Vietnam from the second century. After 13th century to the 17th century, it happened the civil war, the civil war between the Vietnamese mm. who came to invade into here, yeah, and they right. control the Cham, they fought the Cham by moving down to the south. Until to now, even though when the war finished, uh, uh, over the American War and Fan War, when we come back here, we found just remain 20 relics. Only 20 left, right. 50 would absolutely fallen down. Okay. So this crater here was apparently from a bomb. That's huge. The camera doesn't do a great job of showing just how large that is. And then which one is it? This big one up here? Yeah, it used to be 30 meters. It's definitely not 30 meters anymore. That's all from the bombs. <laughs> Stay here a long time, a thousand years. But you look at that, it's really not even the never damaged yeah, by yeah. nature. Yeah. It's very amazing because the charm body did know that how to borrow the nature yeah, yeah. from the super nature to protect the old temple. They were the best. <laughs> this whole area was built so long ago by people that had no resources and no tools and no mortar to actually build any of it. Yet, even today, with the technology that we have, that nobody can actually recreate as good as, as what the Cham did originally when they very first were here. It just sort of it, it blows your mind. As you can probably tell already, we travel a lot without a tour guide, and just having Tony here telling us, is sort of regretting some of the places that we've been, that we probably should have had a guide to learn more of this stuff. So these are bullet holes, apparently. It turns out there's actually a lot of bullet holes around here. Here's another one just randomly in an open area. So this whole area here has actually been rebuilt by the Italians. There was so many bomb craters that you couldn't really venture around in here. So they took a lot of the brick and recreated it from the area surrounding. And it took them 10 years to rebuild it. So this one's actually being rebuilt by the Vietnamese about five years ago and they're not quite sure if it's going to survive. Most of the others that were built five to ten years ago were crumbling. You can quite clearly see the colour difference between the older stuff which was the original Cham and then the Vietnamese having a crack at trying to recreate without mortar or with little mortar as possible to see if it will survive long term. This is a really interesting spot here. This is the first one that we've seen that has not probably been restored yet. And funnily enough, it's right next to a couple of enormous bomb craters. It's absolutely insane. So this is it here, and this is the first that we've seen since walking around anyway. 
it's actually covered and protected because they haven't started to restore anything yet. They're trying to protect it. Dane's just getting in here for scale. He's checked that it's not going to offend anyone. But I just wanted to give it some scale, like it's really hard to tell on camera. As you can see behind me, that is just swarms of people coming in. There were three people there when we first arrived and now there's probably 300. <laughs> the lesson definitely is get up early and it's incredibly hot now as well so that definitely changes things. Which one would you rather go in? The bus, the minivan, the car, or this thing? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> So we're back now, it's 12 o'clock. It feels like it should be way later because we were up so tired. early. Um, and just reflecting on how awesome that day was and just how cool uh, my son was and doing it with a tour, uh, with a guide. Yeah, it made it so much better. We saw other people walking around there that... Just I mean, last day. Yeah. You don't really know what's going on and that was us in the past we would, when we would do that sort of stuff. Yeah. So we want to say a massive thank you to Hoi An Jeep Adventures because going in the Jeeps and hearing the history of the cars themselves mm. as well and just just balling out in those things yeah you, so, feel, you feel so pretty sad. cool mate surprisingly comfortable as well yeah you get some really good looks you can tell i mean we used to look at them as well when we'd spot them driving through the street um so if you do want to look into doing a tour with those guys we'll always have a link in the description below our personal recommendation well mine i'm assuming the same absolutely awesome oh yeah 100 percent. they're so cool really cool day um and I'm so pleased that we did it. Yeah, me too. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tony. Awesome day. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks again for watching anyway. And catch you in the comments. Yeah, we'll chat to you in the comments. <laughs> See you guys.